Hey guys, uh, Thane from SportsViz here. And I uh, wanted to give you a step-by-step -step, uh, process uh, that you can use to find some college football opportunities. Again, uh, you don't want to sit around waiting. If you're waiting, you probably won't uh, end up finding an opportunity. Uh, you want to get out there and do some research and uh, find the opportunities that exist for yourselves. One of the things you can do is go to the sportsviz.com homepage, and you'll find the College Prospects page link uh, on the homepage. Go ahead and click on that, and that'll take you to the College Prospects page. Now, on the uh, home for the College Prospects page, we have some information for parents and coaches and uh, have profiles and highlight clips for the players that have uh, gotten involved in the College Prospects program. The graphics themselves for the players are linked, so if you click on the graphic, it takes you to your individual profile page uh, where there's more information uh, about the player, links to game film, email links, uh, additional highlights, etc. But going back to the home page, you'll also see that there's parent and student uh, recruiting information uh, there and if you click on that page it takes you to uh, the parent and student athlete resources page and there's some information uh, about what you th should know about the recruiting process and there's some links to the NCAA, NAIA, uh, junior college associations uh, and SAT testing. So all good information that you and or your parents uh, should be uh, uh, taking a look at. But uh, the easiest way to get started is go to the College Football Programs page. And if you click on that, uh, you'll come to a page that has links for all the major uh, conferences within college football. And I've got them separated by division. So uh, Division I uh, Football Bowl Series, Division I Football Championship Series, also known as 1AA, Division II, uh, Division III, NAIA, and Junior Colleges. And I've also tried to, to organize them so that the West Coast western part of the United States, those schools and conferences are listed uh, first from top uh, left to right. Uh, now a lot of you um, are probably going to be looking at junior college opportunities and uh, again it's not something where you can sit around and wait for these opportunities to to come to you. You have to actually go out and communicate with these schools or there'll be no way that you'll get an opportunity. Uh, you simply must contact them first. So let's start by taking a look at the Southern California Football Association, uh, which is the link there. So we click on the Southern California Football Association, actually take us to the Greater uh, California Community College uh, Athletic Association in the Southern California Football Association District. And it has a lot of schools listed. Uh, from the various uh, conferences within Southern California. Let's take a look at Ventura because we've had some success in sending some kids there. So we click on the Ventura link and it takes us to the home page for Ventura Athletics. Now you may have to do some research. Uh, some of these sites aren't as easy to use or well designed as, as we might hope. But in this case, on the top bar here, you see the potential recruits uh, link. We go ahead and click on that. And there's some information about uh, what a recruit should know about California uh, Community Colleges and the one uh, paragraph here, any prospective student athlete not living within Ventura County or the contiguous geographical community college districts to Ventura County desiring information regarding athletic participation at Ventura College is required to first make contact with a representative of Ventura College either in writing electronically or by telephone. So you have to contact them first. It doesn't matter how good your highlight a reel is, how much experience and how many awards you received. If you don't get a, in touch with them, they cannot recruit you. And that's just the rules that uh, California junior colleges and many national junior colleges uh, function under. Now there's a link for more information about the recruiting rules. If you want to find out more, you can click on that and take a look. But right below that link is the link for prospective student athlete questionnaire. So we'll take a look at that. And uh, We'll click on that, and that'll take us to the questionnaire for Ventura College. And it's pretty straightforward, uh, nothing uh, too difficult about it. Basic contact information, uh, personal and athletic information, educational information. You fill that all out, and then uh, you simply go down to the bottom of the page and uh, click on the Submit button, and that's going to send that form uh, to Ventura. Now, once that happens, you can start uh, communicating with them and they can communicate back. So don't wait, don't just send the form, continue on, follow up. Go to the football uh, link under men's sports here. If you click on football, it's going to take you to the football homepage. And again, some of these pages are not as well designed, but in this case, if you look at the top bar again, 
you're going to find right across the top bar is a contact us. You've got coaches and contact us. So click on contact us and it has a list of all the coaches at Ventura College, what their various uh, areas of, of focus are. And you want to look for a recruiting coordinator in particular if they have one. In this case, Coach Ted is the recruiting coordinator uh, for Ventura. So you'd want to start communicating with him uh, initially. And then depending on uh, how that works he may have other coaches communicate with you but Ted's the uh, main contact and you have an email link right there uh, for Ted now one of the things that you can do to prepare is uh, go to the sports phase sports homepage and we have all the links to the YouTube channels so you want to go ahead and get these links available so you can include any highlights or, or your best games in these emails that you send to the coaches uh, it's very simple to do uh, if you click on the link, it'll take you to the YouTube page. You go up to the top. You see it has all my highlights that I've done, not only for um, football, but other sports. You click on videos, and it has all the videos listed. And again, if you've had a highlight done by me, you know where it is. And uh, if you go ahead and click on the actual highlight clip, it'll take you to that clip, and it'll provide you with a link that you can share. Now it'll start playing and I go ahead and stop the, the video and you click on share uh, down there and it gives you a link that you can copy. So you go ahead and once you've got that you go edit on the top bar, copy, and you have that link copied. Now you can do the same thing um, for the um, game film as well. Let's go ahead and go back. And we have the 2011 games as well. So you can go into 2011 games and it has all the various games listed. Some are divided by offense, defense. Others are divided just by uh, first and second half. So if you know that you had a particularly good game or, or, or the, the first half of one game was particularly good or the second half was good, then you can go find that particular game. And again, copy that link and uh, have that available as well. Um, you have to do these one at a time, of course. But then you would go back to the email link click on Ted, Coach Ted's email link and uh, all you have to do is essentially uh, in the body of the email when you're ready to um, include a link is you just simply hit uh, the right click on your uh, mouse and that will allow you to put a link in the email. And again, the more you can send them, the better. I mean, typically they're going to want to, if you have it, a highlight reel and then maybe one or two complete games. So again, uh, you go into uh, right-click, add a link, and you simply paste in the, uh, go into edit, paste, paste in that YouTube link, click OK, and now you've embedded that link to that highlight clip into the email. Okay, so again, Communicate with the coach, give them some information about who you are and your interest, and include links to either highlight reels if you have them, or to uh, complete games if you have those, and the coach is going to be immediately able to uh, check out your performance, uh, see that you have an interest, and begin communicating with you and possibly uh, find a, a football opportunity. So again, I think the key is, is that... Um, these opportunities are out there, but it requires work on your part. And there's literally uh, hundreds of schools out there that have football programs that are looking for players. Uh, but in many cases, they don't know who you are or where you are, and you have to communicate with them. So uh, again, don't sit around waiting for an opportunity to find you. If you do that, you're probably going to be stuck here on the Big Island. Get into these websites, find out who the coaches are, do the research, send them the recruiting form uh, and uh, hopefully uh, you can find an opportunity with a school that's going to work out for you and a program that's going to work out for you. 